Welcome back to another episode of Animal Planet. I'm your host, Ryan Seacrest. Here we see a wild indie game developer in his natural habitat. We've installed hidden cameras so we can observe his daily occurrences, like foraging for food, searching for water, and making games. Winter is coming. So he's working hard so he can survive. I bet my co-host Morgan Freeman 20 bucks that he won't make it. The year is 2023 and a young Logan has entered into the greatest game jam of all time. Mini Jam 128. I have 72 hours to make a video game which fits the theme. The only way to go is up. I'm sitting at my desk, head empty, when suddenly, kablamo! Rock climbing is fun, and you go up in rock climbing. So off I go, typing on my keyboard for 72 consecutive hours, and bing bing boom, out pops this game. At the end of the jam, I felt pretty happy with my game. If I had to predict its reception on a scale of 1 to 5, I'd give it a solid 3.942 out of 5. To my surprise, my game actually did better than expected. Out of 135 games, it ranked 5th overall, with a score of 3.943 out of 5. Flash forward to the future, and here we are today. Hi, I'm Logan, and I'm making a rock climbing game. Oh, I'm making a rock climbing party game called Tether. I'm just a dude trying to make games for a living. I've been doing the making games part for the majority of this year, but I'm struggling to do the living part. The only reason why I'm able to do this is thanks to today's sponsor, my dad. Thanks dad for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to the video. Yes viewer, I can hear you through the computer screen. That's a great question. My original Game Jam game, Top, was the three-day, half-baked prototype. But Tether is the real deal. A fully-fledged, multi-flare, rock-climbing party experience you can share with your friends. I found I'm making it support online multiplayer, and I wanted to have a handful of game modes, like a super chill playground mode where you can just climb around with your friends, or more competitive, capture the flag mode where you chase each other around. I have a lot of ideas for directions I want to explore, so stay tuned for more. Viewer, I can hear you through the computer screen again. Zingo! Here's the plan. First of all, I've noticed that having a deadline is really effective motivation for me. Without a deadline, I tend to get lazy and slow in my game development work. So for this project, I'm giving myself 12 weeks divided into four three-week long chunks. For weeks 1, 2, and 3, I hope that I can get a minimum viable product up and running. For the MVP, I'd really just like to get the online multiplayer working, because I think that'll be the hardest part for me. Weeks 4, 5, and 6 will be all about experimentation. Each week, I'll prototype some game modes, gather feedback from friends, and try new ideas. Hopefully I'll have interesting content to share through this process too, so I can start marketing. For weeks 7, 8, and 9, I'm going to force myself to make final decisions for the game. And I want to commit to building those out all the way. So no more changes in like the direction, uh, the final vision of the game should be set in stone. Like, like a rock. Finally, for weeks 10, 11, and 12, my primary focus will be on preparing for the game's launch. That means a lot of marketing, crushing as many bugs as I can, and adding nice quality of life touches. I'll click the button to release the game, and I'll be all done. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll change a lot, but yeah. that's This is what I hope will happen. Okay, 
that's basically all I have to say. I've never really been good at closing conversations, so I'm not really sure how to end the video. But I'll just do it the same way that I close all my conversations. <clears throat> I need the key. Bye.